What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another Dose. I'm standing here at King's College London Guys Campus. In a couple of short months, I'm gonna graduate and become a doctor and leave all of this beautiful place behind. So before I go, I wanted to make sure I give you guys a full tour, go down memory lane and relive some of the great experiences that I had here while studying in medical school. Let's go. All right, so let's walk over to the Hodgkin building, which is right over here, probably my favorite building on the entire of campus. So this behind me is the Hodgkin building, which is what Hodgkin's lymphoma is named after. Mr. Hodgkin was an anatomy curator here many, many years ago. This is my favorite building because it has the cadaveric dissection labs on the top floor up there, which is where we spent a ton of time in our first and second years, actually dissecting and opening up real human bodies, learning about the anatomy from the inside, which was an absolutely incredible experience. If you have the ability to do it, I would highly recommend it. Also in this building, there's a couple lecture theaters. In the basement, there's some smaller rooms that are used for tutorials and case bases discussions, which is when we all come together as a group and discuss a single case from the presenting complaint, the investigations, diagnosis, treatment management, prognosis, etc. So we've spent a decent amount of time in this room over the years. Let's go inside and I'll show you what's around. All right, so this is one of the lecture halls here in the Hodgkin building, and it's actually where I gave my first lecture slash presentation. Back in second year, as part of the Immunological Society, I gave a presentation on things like rheumatoid arthritis, SLE or lupus, psoriasis, and other immunological diseases. I found it quite nerve wracking at the time, but I think it's helped a lot in improving my public speaking and my comfort in doing those types of presentations. So I'm really thankful that I did it. Okay, so we're about to go into the Wills Library, which is where me and Alexia have spent countless hours studying here on campus. Let me show you guys inside. So I've spent tons of time studying in here. Okay, my favorite spot was right over here on the left. I used to study there for my first and second year exams. And then the third year, I always used to study in that corner over there. So it holds a very special place in my heart. Hi. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely meeting you. Yeah. Have a great day. Good luck with your exams. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. So I'm standing outside the Gordon Museum, which is the coolest place on the entirety of campus. It hosts thousands and thousands of real-life human anatomical specimens in these little pots. And you can look at the pots and then read the corresponding pathology in these books that they have. It's an absolutely incredible museum, but unfortunately we're not allowed to film inside. I'll put some photos and video up of what it looks like in there. If you get the chance to visit, definitely go. So behind me over here is the Shepherd's Bush building, otherwise known as the Chandler Sale building, which is basically supposed to be a simulated clinical environment for us medical students. So a lot of the time that we spend in here is practicing taking patient histories, practicing different procedural skills like urinary catheterization, taking bloods, cannulation, taking blood pressure, etc, etc. So the point of this building is to mimic a hospital environment and have a safe space for us medical students to practice all of our clinical skills, our communication skills, etc, before we go to the real hospital which is what we do in our third, fourth, and fifth year, and actually start interacting with real human patients. So this was a photography project that my good friend Aaron did. He's actually the one who's recording this entire video. Please make sure you go check him out on all his social media stuff. I'll leave him linked up over here on screen and in the description down below. So this is one of the clinical skills rooms that we have here in the building. It allows us to practice all kinds of different procedures. So, you know, over here, we've got all the equipment that we need for venipuncture and cannulation. We've got speculums to practice pelvic examinations as well. And then over here, we've got some dummies. So here you can practice your otoscopy or looking in the ear quicker thyroidotomies and then this is a very expensive mannequin that can simulate all kinds of different pathologies that might be happening in the body in the respiratory system the gastrointestinal system and the cardiological system as well so i'm not going to touch him because i don't want to break him these dummies can be extremely useful when we're doing practice for different clinical scenarios and emergency situations that we can prepare for in a safe environment like this before being in that position in an actual hospital with a real life patient so this is where i come before our oski examinations or our practical exams here in medical school 
just to help remind myself and become familiar with all the equipment, you know, practice some clinical skills and procedures that I might have forgotten how to do or I'm a bit rusty on. I find these environments very, very helpful because you don't always get these opportunities in the hospital. All right, so this is a great example of those hospital simulated environments that I was talking about. You know, we can come in here with simulated patients, take things like histories, examine them, and talk about what kinds of investigations we can do. And you know, when you're in first and second year, being in an environment like this makes going to the hospital so much less intimidating. When you're a beginner as a medical student, it feels so scary to be on the wards with other doctors and healthcare professionals. And so being eased into that environment with something like this is incredibly, incredibly helpful. I honestly wish that we had spent more time here and had more dedicated scheduled classes and procedural skills and stuff in this, uh, in this type of environment. And then over here as well, this is where you can practice something like surgical scrubbing or scrubbing in before you go into the operating theater. You know, this is something that you have to get 100% right. You can't make a mistake when you're in the actual theaters. And so getting that practice in somewhere over here in a safe environment where you can make mistakes and learn over and over again is a perfect way to transition into the hospitals so that you make sure that you're safe for all the patients that are there. This is a resus trolley. So if a patient ever has a cardiac arrest, a 2222 call is put out and you need to get this trolley to that patient as soon as possible. And knowing where everything is and where you can get it in an emergency situation is extremely, extremely helpful. So practicing with one of these is very valuable as well. So here's another simulated environment. We've got an infant here. I guess this might be something like the NICU. And then we've got a child over here for maybe pediatric emergencies. I would imagine some airway emergencies, anaphylaxis, asthma, croup, etc. So these concrete seats around me are matching to the other ones further down over there. And it's just another place where students can sit down and hang out during lunchtime or, you know, when the sun is actually out and the weather is nice here in the UK. It's nice to have all these different places to be able to hang out on campus, keeps things changing and exciting and just isn't monotonous. So as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of greenery here on campus. There's a lot of places you can chill out and relax and pre-COVID, all this over here was a big area of grass and every single day at lunchtime you would find it completely full with everyone chilling over here. I'll put up some footage of that from back in my second year. But now we've got this big tent for a COVID vaccination center and same down there. I'll show you guys in a bit. It takes away a little bit from the campus experience but obviously it's very necessary and very helpful. I actually took a hyperlapse of the campus a couple of years ago which shows this area a lot better so I'm gonna play that right now. It's hard to breathe but that's all right. Hush. So right now we're standing in the middle of what used to be Guy's Hospital. All these floors and buildings up here used to be hospital wards with this central courtyard in the middle. And then on the other side, we have the exact same thing as well. Now they've been repurposed for what I think are administrative or office buildings, and then also gyms for societies to take advantage of for extracurriculars, because I don't think we've ever been there really for any classes, have we, Aaron? I don't think so, yeah. Um, so I think it's mainly just office administrative buildings. But right next to us is the shed, which is the main sort of uh, cafeteria or chill out space here on campus. I really want to show you guys in there, so let's go. I'm just taking a picture of plant medicine. Okay, yeah. awesome, yeah. good for you, man. What's your name? Uh, Parth. Parth, I'm Nasser. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Okay, nice, lovely to meet you. What's your name? Pudra. Again? Pudra. Pudra. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely meeting you guys. Thanks for stopping to say hi. I haven't been, I don't come back to campus very often at all. Um, but now most times when I come, I'll meet at least one or two of you here, which is really, really cool. It's great to put a face to the names and the comments and things that I see online. So it's awesome. Thanks for saying hi and, uh, and always supporting me. All right, so this is the shed, which like I said, is kind of the main cafeteria area here on campus. Most students come to eat lunch here in between lectures or after their tutorials or whatever. And then a very key part of this place is it's currently being used for storage apparently, but this is the ping pong table where we spent a lot, a lot of time, especially in first and second year, me and Kenji especially, we'd play a lot of ping pong over here and spend most of our lunchtime, even skip some lectures sometimes to play. Uh, so this holds a very special place for us in our memories. And then down over there is where we'd get coffee before class, most days as well. 
Aaron loves coffee as well, so we'd usually be here. And yeah, we've got some couches, some chairs, just to relax, hang out and chill in between classes or after classes at the end of the day. It's honestly a really friendly and comfortable environment where we've spent quite a lot of time in our first and second years as well. And then downstairs is Guy's Bar. Let me show you guys that as well. So Guy's Bar is probably the highlight of King's College Guy's campus. So this is where all the best club nights and social nights happen. You know, on a Wednesday night, this place is absolutely packed to the brim. You can honestly barely move around in here. There's so many people. We definitely spent a good amount of time here in our first and second year. There's a big bar over there and now a restaurant as well, so you can order food. I'll throw up some footage of a couple of times that we were here uh, for those Wednesday sport night events as well. Are you in this picture? I don't think I am either. There's Sunny. That's so cute that they still have it up though. There's a foosball table here sometimes, currently converted into a beer pong table apparently. But this is Guy's Bar, you know, this is where a lot of the social events happen for students here And it's definitely a highlight if you come to King's College campus, make sure you go to the Wednesday night events Trust me. Um, Let's go. Like, How's it going? Yeah, yeah. It's just so difficult now because it's all gone from online to in person mm. so. But that's good, right? I mean, no, I'm sure you guys were like, now, yeah, but it must have no so much <gasps> I was just saying like how, how amazing dissection was oh, yeah, and like how I important it is. Teams, that's so one of the main reasons I applied as well Good. Great, thank awesome. you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thanks for saying hi, guys. So the next place that we want to uh, talk about is the new Hunt House Library. Okay, so this is like the main building here on campus. It hosts the library, which is always completely jam-packed during any exam season. It's full to the brim. You can't get a seat anywhere. You know, it's where we spend a lot of time. So let me show you guys inside. You know those dispensers that dispense too much gel? Can we cancel those, please? This is one of the main lecture halls here in the new Hans House building, which is where we had quite a few lectures in first and second year. Let's see what's going on inside. I think they might be having a lecture right now. I think they've just finished a lecture. All right, we won't disturb. Um, but yeah, sort of in first and second year when the course was a lot more lecture heavy, this, uh, this lecture hall was used quite often. Let's go to the library. This is the new Hans House library. Let's go. All right, so this is the new Hunt's House Library. My friend Rachel is sitting right there. I'm gonna scare her. I don't have like burnout or anything, but like You're I have been there. struggling and I was like, okay, well if if the karma medic is struggling too, maybe. Yeah, I'm you know, I'm I'm happy you said that because um I didn't want to give the impression that I I never have burnout ever. Yeah. Oh, do you guys mind if if we're filming uh, yeah, these conversation stuff? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we're not filming a video. Yeah, yeah, I'm filming a video. Oh, wow. You guys are gonna be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, of course you can. 
Oh, my friend Rachel, she's oh. in the library preparing your workout schedule right now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. oh, so they no, just ran into Fair warning, you have suicides at the end of the schedule. Oh, just so you no. know. <laughs> I'm quite making them do it at the end. <laughs> of course you are. Wow, I did not expect to meet so many of you. It's kind of mad, but yeah, th thanks so much for coming to say hi. I'm always down to have a chat always down to meet you guys so yeah please do feel free to stop me if you see me on the streets anyway we are now gonna go grab some lunch so one of the really nice things about guys campus here is that there's so much food around and so many bars and things to do as well so just behind us over there like a 30 second walk is a place called Boro market and we'll go there and show you now there's like endless selection of food to choose from and yeah since we're hungry let's let's go grab a bite to eat oh and this is one of the student accommodations over here uh, where a couple of people stayed in first year all right, so this is Borough Market. There's all kinds of different food that you can get here. And also if you've got a sweet tooth, there's tons of desserts as well, juices. You know, we'd always come here at lunchtime to grab something really nice to eat and then head back to campus to eat in one of those areas that I showed you guys before. My personal favorite place is an Ethiopian restaurant somewhere down over there, which looks like it's not there anymore, unfortunately. So we might have a look around to see what other food is available, but let's go deep into there. There's a lot more food that we can uh, have a look at as well. So this cheese place over here is where Alexia and I would get cheese for our cheese and wine nights. Um, it's really, really good. If you guys get a chance, check it out. My second favorite restaurant after the Ethiopian one is a duck place that's like somewhere down over there. So let's go check out if it's open. And if it is, we're definitely getting that. Hi, how's it going guys? Oh, good. <laughs> what are your names? Um, Ronal. Ronal. And? I'm Hanan. Hanan? Anastasia, nice to meet you guys. Are you guys all okay with the, with being in the video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so we've come with our lunch to this sort of second courtyard area here at King's. Again, usually this would be completely bustling at lunchtime with so many students sitting around on these concrete areas. But now this courtyard has been turned into another vaccination center. And so there's this like big tent here in the middle. But you know, usually all these areas would be completely filled with students just having their lunch, chilling and relaxing in the sun when we have it. So yeah, Aaron and I are gonna sit down now and eat our food and then we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. What's your name, man? Uh, my name's Hamden. Hamden? Hamden, yes. Lovely to meet you, man. Are you studying medicine? Dentistry. Dentistry, but okay. I use like your UK videos. Oh, so awesome. I watch your videos, so nice, like, nice, nice. Good. How's it going? I'm good, you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Soha. Soha. Since we're here on campus doing this tour, I decided to post on my Instagram that we'll be doing a meetup here at the beach, which is like right over there. So I'm gonna go there, hang out for a little bit, and hopefully get to meet some of you as well. Let's go. Hi there. Oh, are you guys all here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, you guys want to head down to the to the beach area? How's it going, guys? Are you all in medical school? Are you in yeah. dental yeah. school? Oh, that's awesome. Well, hi, I'm Nasser. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Awesome. Thank you. I, ho I hope that one's fine. Um, so you said you came from Liverpool? Yeah, I've actually also got a YouTube channel. But it's oh, really awesome. Cool, but... What is it? Shout out to the camera, man. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about why you applied to King's College London? So there's so many reasons. I love the location. I think okay. being in London, watching your vlogs made me realize how beautiful it is. The view and like you can just walk around and you're at London Bridge, yes. get your morning coffee and you're on London Bridge. Mm. The views are amazing. I love the social spaces there are, the guys bar, the shed. It's lovely to grab lunch with your friends and yep. just sit. And even sitting like outside when it's lovely weather. Yeah, like and, today. Yeah, and going to Strand even, because the libraries there are really pretty. To Mon Library? I haven't been there just yet. <gasps> Mon Library is the best, yeah. My most viewed video was filmed at the Mon Library. Check it out, it's a, it's a good spot. Well, I love the proximity of Guy's campus because it's on the borough side of the river, whereas the Strand mm. is it's further on, it's north. On the wrong and side, yeah. yeah, it's on the wrong side of the river, that's correct. Um, so I love how close it is, and it's just so easy to step out, and Borough Market's right there. There's so much to see. Yep. There's walking yep. distance. That's such yep. a big plus for London. Yep. What do you think is your favorite part of the campus? Favorite part? Probably Will's Library at this moment in time. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yes. Probably the libraries are really nice. Yeah, and I also yeah. like Hodgkin's building, so that's where we have our dissections. Well, we haven't had any, but that's where we have them, and then we get to go to open learning and look at the different parts of the body, which I think is really cool. Honestly, the view from the library overlooking Guy's Hospital is quite inspirational. But... Facts. It's like you're literally studying and watching what you're going to be doing in the near future, right? I swear everyone says that as yeah. well. Yeah, it's really good. I feel like this is the, the first person, in a, the first time in a long time I've spoken to someone who's this much taller than me. Have you guys been to Gordon's Museum? Yeah. 
If you could summarize how cool it is for people watching, what would you say? Really cool. <laughs> like, like it's, it's insane the amount it's of stuff that you find yeah. in there, and yeah. the, the dates it goes back to is insane yeah. as well. So, so many specimens, so it's really interesting. Like you could spend the whole day there. It's amazing. Yeah. What made you apply to Kings in the first place? Honestly, a the location. B um, for me like. There's so many people and it's so diverse here. Like I yes, know I can make yes, so many different agree. friends. I just feel so comfortable here. Probably the dissections, the integrated learning approach, and just the fact that it's next to you know GSTT and everything. Like the hospitals are amazing. Nice. Yeah. I feel like that was a me an MMI yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you guys want to say? Um, um, thank you for helping us get into Kings. <laughs> plug your YouTube channel. <laughs> My GKT monologues, guys. If you guys want to follow it out. Um, My GKT monologues. My GKT. All right. So on the count of three, you guys are gonna have to jump really high. Okay. So we're all in the same frame. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Tell me, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. What is it called? It's Siobhan Behel. I basically, it's basically kind of like your YouTube channel. I okay. make videos about medical school and university and awesome. stuff like that. Yeah. All right, everyone go check it out. The link will be somewhere over here. And all right, guys, that is it. I think that is the full tour of King's College London Guys Campus and everything that I wanted to show you as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me like this in the future. And that's it. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> like almost fucking broke my ankle. <laughs> so we've got an infant over here. She that was close. My personal favorite place is an Ethiopian rest. Sorry guys. Um, I will always. Uh... <laughs>